Good morning, everyone. I hope you are all doing well wherever you are in the world. Welcome to our Opportunity for Peace event. My name is Jessica Dugas. I am an intuitive mentor and inspirational entertainer and the host of The Breakthrough Show, which is where um, these two beautiful ladies have joined me on the screen before. And uh, I couldn't think of better women to team up with for this event today. Here joining us, we have Laura Mazada. Laura, would you like to share with everybody your who you are and where you're from and all of that? Absolutely. Welcome, everyone. Thank you so much for being here. My name is Laura Mazada, and I am a spiritual healer and teacher. I have been also a therapist for about 20 years, and I use the Akashic Records to assist people with what I consider to be the deepest and most efficient form of healing to help them move towards ease, energy, and confidence. And I'm so eager today to share the Akashic Records with you and the peace and calm and comfort that comes from that space. Absolutely welcome and thank you so much for being doing this event and be opening to open to doing it today. We also have Teresa Warren with us to, today. Teresa, would you like to introduce yourself to everyone? Hi, I'm Teresa Warren. I'm from Tennessee, and I'm so excited to be here with these women. I, I had been thinking and thinking about them, and then Jessica reached out and was like, ah, now I understand why I was feeling that in the field. And so I'm so excited to be here. I am also from read the Akashic Records, and I'm a life coach. And all the skills that I have, talking to angels, working with dragons and, and the meditations that get downloaded, I use all of those in my life coaching session. And for me, it's never a dull moment. It is always so exciting, so enriching. And that's what I love about what I do. And I'm excited to be here sharing with these ladies, these goddesses. Yes, absolutely. Thank you so much, Teresa, as well, for being a part of this event. Um, I think it's always a magical experience when it's not just one person, but it's a group of people. And then, of course, inviting all of our amazing watchers and listeners today to join in this experience with us. It's going to be beautiful. So what our goal here is today is to create a space of peace for you, create that space, allow it to build up within yourself, and then then take a moment to extend that peaceful energy out to the whole world. And um, I think it has been an interesting year for a lot of people. And I, I don't know anybody who doesn't want more peace in their life. So I would invite you to take a moment if you haven't done so already and share out this broadcast wherever you can to everyone that you can invite some people to come and watch with you. And also, whether you're on live or on the replay with us, comment down below, hello, say hello, where you're joining from so that we can interact with you when we're finished. Um, we are going to be here approximately an hour. Each of us has a different portion to contribute today. I would invite you to get comfortable. Of course, you can always listen if you're on the go and out and about. What's better than, than driving with some peace in, the, in, your, in your ear or, or walking or in the grocery store, wherever you may be. And then, um, but if you are sitting there and are able to get relaxed, get yourself some water. We love to have some water um, to be able to consume during our events because we that energy is moving and the water only helps it. So um, we just wanna take a minute of, of gratitude and just take a moment of, of quiet just for a second here to really just say thank you. Thank you all so much for being here with us today. And Laura is going to get started. Hi everybody. So I'm going to guide you guys into your Akashic Records. And if you don't know what the Akashic Records are, the Akashic Records are a spiritual library full of 
books that house the information about every single soul that has ever sparked, whether they've had a human incarnation or not. And I like to call it Google for the soul. We get to go to this place and we ask any question we want and we get all of the, the peace and the clarity and the direction for our soul's purpose so that we can continue on our path in the way that we're meant to. So when we open these records, I'm going to guide you through a brief meditation. We're gonna, that meditation is going to help us balance our energy. And then I'm going to open the records with five sacred ohms. You guys can repeat after me, or you can just allow me to guide you through it. One thing I will say is just to identify now what name you'd like to use to open the records. Typically, I use Laura Nat Mazada. Typically people use the name on their birth certificate or their driver's license, or you can use your first and your middle or your first and your last, whatever you think feels like you. Cause on our final ohm, you're going to state your name and I will prompt you to do so. And then once we're in that space, I'm gonna bring through a brief message from the Akashic Records and guide you through a tapping. And I'll tell you a little bit about what tapping is when we get to that point, okay? So I want everybody to get comfortable, close your eyes, Take a deep breath in, releasing slowly on your exhale. Another deep breath in all the way to the base of your spine, knowing that this space we're entering is extremely safe and protected and you'll be compassionately held. Make sure your exhale is longer than your inhale to really release Bring peace and calm to your physical body. And another breath in, expanding your heart space in the front and the back, pausing at the top. Now breathe in a little bit more to fill into your fullest capacity and hold. And then slowly release. Just continue to move your breath slowly and deeply at a pace that's comfortable for you. And on our next exhale, we're gonna send our breath down past the crust of the earth, through the moist soil, allowing our breath to enter the root system of mother earth. And I want you to really watch as this breath expands the root system, which in turn shifts the soil, allowing this system to expand and reach more and more people with your life force energy. And on your inhale, I want you to pull up all of the medicinal healing that exists in this root space, integrating it into your physical body, all of your cells, all of your organs. And sending your next exhale down again, past the root system into the crystalline caves of Mother Earth. Really feeling into the magical energy that exists here. It's very inspirational, very motivational energy amplified by all the crystals that are housed here. And I want you to breathe in all of this momentum on your inhale. Once again, integrating that into your physical body. And then send your next breath down past the crystalline caves into the sacred waters of Mother Earth, where you allow your physical body to be fully immersed in this warm, sparkling, translucent pond of water. Allow this water to lap against your skin and soothe your joints and infuse your immune system and your bloodstream with nourishment and resilience. Taking in a nice inhale here and sending our final breath down into Mother Earth into the core center where there's a liquid hot magenta energy full of unconditional love, just boiling up and waiting to be shared with the world, with the universe. And I want you to allow the steam from this space to really rise up your feet, warming your legs, warming your abdomen, warming your chest and your arms, warming your throat space and your head, allowing this energy to extend beyond the top of your head following a crystalline tube of white light that runs up and down your spine, extending beyond the building in which we're sitting, beyond the earth, 
beyond the moon, the stars, the galaxy. And we're rooting this tube into a space in the Akash. And as you travel up this tube and you peek over the edge, you get a sense of the infinite and boundless space that exists here, full of limitless light beings who are so eager to have you here today, so eager to be with us and to connect with our energy, feeling into the unconditional love of this space and breathing in this high vibration champagne colored energy to bring it back down that tube with you, pulling it into your physical body and allowing it to mix with that warm mother earth energy that's already there. And using your breath, I want you to distribute this harmonized energy through the tips of your toes and the tips of your fingers and the top of your head, allowing it to expand into your aura with each breath. And it's from this space that we will sound the five sacred ohms to open up our Akashic records. With this ohm, I relax my body. Oh. With this ohm, I relax my mind. Oh. With this ohm, I release my ego and all judgment in this space. With this ohm, I call in the light, all healing and knowledge. Oh. With this ohm, I open up the Akashic records of, and you'll fill in your name here, Laura Nat Mazada. The records are now open. Just keep your eyes closed, keep your breath moving, allowing your energy to adjust to this high frequency space and allowing all of our guides, ascended masters, angels, and loved ones to assemble around us and join us in this experience. And just while you're moving your breath here and connecting to this energy, I'm just gonna bring through whatever message the records feel the collective needs to hear right now. They're bringing through this message of breathing and ease, allowing your breath to be easy today, allowing your breath to ease you through and allow you to flow through this day, through this week, trusting and knowing that your true home is the spiritual realm, that we are all loved unconditionally, that we are never alone, that we always have a sense of belonging that tuning into this space and connecting to our guides and our ancestors and our loved ones provides us with a level of nurturing that is beyond this world and what we can find externally in this human world. That regardless of what's going on around us, we have the choice and the ability to tune in to our own energy, to this peace within, to our breath, knowing that we are simply vessels bringing through the, the guidance and the energy of the universe. So to just be in a space of receiving and allowing, allow this breath to find any little pockets of your being that haven't received breath in a while, that haven't received healing or love in some time. Allow yourself to just open up one of these pockets, one of these areas, knowing that you have an infinite capacity to love. You have an infinite capacity to 
flow with ease and that you can continue to expand this capacity with your breath. Just taking a deep breath here to really feel into this. And when you're ready, you can open your eyes. Just let us know how you guys are feeling in the comments, if you have any questions about that process. I'm gonna guide us in a brief tapping today. Not gonna to make it too long because I want these other ladies, I'm excited for Teresa's meditation. So I wanna dive into that too, but I'm gonna take you guys through a brief tapping because tapping is an energy psychology technique. It's called EFT, emotional freedom technique. And it's beautiful because it's a modality that allows us to release anything that's interfering with our vibration, anything that's feeling sticky or stuck for us. And it allows us to have a cleaner slate right? A clearer palette so that we have the opportunity to receive more. It opens up space so that we can be more in that receptive position today. So when we start this practice, we start with the karate chop point, which is between the end of your pinky and your wrist. You can use one, two, three, or four fingers, and you can go as lightly or as aggressively as you'd like. I'm a very aggressive tapper. <laughs> you don't have to do it as hard as I do. <laughs> if you're just starting this out, please do it lightly. So we're gonna, you're going to just repeat after me. So when I tap on this point, I'm going to say statements and I want you to just repeat the statements after me. And then we're gonna go through the tapping points. So you can keep your eyes open and follow my tapping points. The only ones that I'll point out to you now that may be confusing to see in the camera is the collarbone point. This is really right underneath your collarbone and actually up a little bit. If you go too far out, it's gonna to be too sensitive. So you wanna stay right here under the collarbone point, okay? And then the armpit point, you're gonna look a little bit like a monkey. So celebrate that. It's about four inches underneath your armpit or right in the center of your bra strap for, for females, okay? And then we do our wrist to wrist in the top of the head, okay? So all you need to do is again, receive and flow and just follow my lead and just repeat after me. So let's take a deep breath in. And I want everyone to keep your eyes closed for a moment and just identify where you are in a scale of one to 10. 10 being I am phenomenal and amazing and one being I am not special today. I'm not feeling it. <laughs> not feeling special, even though you're always special. So just identify where you are. And then you can open your eyes and we're gonna start our tapping. Even though I'm feeling like I don't know what's going to happen, I completely love and accept myself. Even though I feel helpless and fairly out of control, I know that I have the resources within to find my way. Even though I feel confused and have a lack of clarity, I know the answers are always within. Keep tapping and take a deep breath here. And release. We're gonna move on to the tapping points. All of this uncertainty. I don't have the answers for what's coming next. Sometimes I get so frustrated and I feel so helpless and disempowered. And in this state, I may even blame others. and judge and criticize them and judge and criticize myself. Questioning the decisions that myself and others are making and not feeling clear on what the right path is. But the path isn't decided by me. All I have to do is tune into my higher self. 
allowing the wisdom and guidance to flow through me and to me. Take another deep breath here. I choose to access my higher self's wisdom now. And take a brief moment of silence to receive any wisdom that is meant for me. And while we're on this tapping point, I want you guys to just breathe in deeply, almost like you're pulling up a yawn, really use your breath to excavate any old energy. I choose to tap into my clarity and power. Knowing that I've been confused before and I've gotten through it. I still have these strengths and resources within me. And I allow the Akashic records to remind me of them now. I choose to release and clear this confusion at a cellular level. To free space for me to step into my own power. Into using my voice and speaking my truth. To show up boldly and unapologetically. with deep love and compassion for myself and others. Knowing that when I embody the vibration of love, this energy is felt by everyone around me, which is then felt by everyone around them. And I choose to offer this love to myself and to others now. Okay, you can put your hands down, take a deep breath in. Just close your eyes, tuning in again to your physical body, to your emotional state, getting an idea of where you are on that scale of one to 10. Placing your hands in your heart space and taking a deep breath in pausing at the top and holding for three to integrate these changes, setting a new pattern of belief systems and of moving your energy moving forward, knowing you can always return to this space when you're looking for healing and alignment and peace. And when you're ready, you can open your eyes. So just let us know how you guys are doing. I hope that that practice served you. We're gonna keep the Akashic records open. And then at the end of this experience, I will guide you into closing them as well so that we can experience all of this goodness in this high vibe space. And just briefly before we move on to Teresa, I just want you to know that anytime you're in the space of the Akashic records, you're entirely safe and protect protected. You're unconditionally loved and you're never going to receive anything that you're not ready to integrate at the time. So it's a very safe space to do any of your healing work, to be raw and vulnerable. So I invite you all to just allow the flow today, knowing you're safely held and that we're here for you. And I will pass it on to Teresa. Thank you so much for joining me. Laura, that was beautiful. Thank you so much. I, I feel so good and relaxed. And I, I love being from the Akashic Records. So many of the best downloads and healing. It, it's just, it's a magical gift when we learn to read the Akashic Records. So I, I pulled a few cards from the collective and, and I'm not going to go into them deeply. I just want to show you what they are. I asked the collective, what is our blind spot toward peace? It may seem obvious, it may not. And the card came up as this sigil. And this sigil is about wavering. We want this, we want that. There's so many things, so many areas being affected. We really need to get to the heart of what we really want and to see that coming in. The more we come to clarity, as a whole collective and as an individual, that's gonna bring us what we need. 
So that's our blind spot. Now, what is our strength? Our strength is a message from Pleiadians who have been through this same thing long before us. And their energy is an expanding energy. So look at the light language there. And it is about connection. We do need human to human connection. We need connection to our higher selves. We need connection to our own hearts. When we're in our heads is when we're critical. When we're in our hearts is where compassionate action begins. So that's our message of strength. Holding on to that gives us strength. The message from our heart is about the heart. And again, it is being emphasized the connection. It is time to connect to all the compassionate action in our hearts and to know what it truly means, what we really want. And when we define that, that's when we can manifest it easier. The next card is about our steps forward. And this is Mintaken. And it's really about a longing for home. As these things go on, of course, let's get out of here before it all burns down. I mean, you know, but in truth, we're here to be the beacons of light and to bring our homes from out there to here. So once again, connecting into the heart and making the home what is all around us. So are you guys ready for a fun little meditation? I want to show you two of the dragons that were coming forward. And, and it was so cool. They were right, right where I could find them easy. This is the crystal yellow dragon. We'll have a little fun with them. And so importantly, the golden Christed dragon. I can't wait until you guys see what's going to happen. So Laura already put us in this lovely, lovely spot. So if you're driving, be careful. If you're not, relax into that. And I want you to sense or imagine that you're sitting in a very safe space where there's a little, a little pond of water and there's a tree over it and you can hear the birds and you're relaxed. You're feeling safe. This is a time out of time and a really beautiful break to you right there. And as you sit there relaxing and soaking up the peace that's all around you, notice the energy that's coming up to you on the right. And as it steps in front of you, you see a pure, white, dazzling unicorn. This is your unicorn reaching out to you because it's time and you are ready for a beautiful journey that's coming. So your unicorn leans down and scoops you up and takes you on the way. And where we're going is to an ethereal part of Sirius. So feel the light shaft from yourself reaching to Sirius and the unicorn is taking you all the way up that light shaft, all the way, all the way until we are at a beautiful, beautiful park, a beautiful garden on Sirius B. And as you dismount, you already feel the wisdom that's gonna be coming through to you. So you sit down on the ground and you are ready to jump into some deep meditating. In the beginning, we feel St. Germain's violet flame come over us from the top going all the way down our bodies and out our feet and clearing up our roots, clearing up our roots so that we can connect to our deepest source within the earth still. And so bring that energy up. And as you sit here, this is where the crystal yellow dragons come in and they are small and swirling around your crown and hooking up every one of your thousand petals to a source of wisdom, to a source of peace, to a source of healing for you. And you can feel your crown tingling as they do their work. They uncurl the petals, 
they stretch them out to your source and see that they stretch them out to those who will be your teachers here on the earth plane too because we are always open and ready to learn are we not and so now i invite you to follow the unicorn to a beautiful pool that's been set up for you and all around the pool is all of your guides all of the ascended masters who help you all of your angels your ancestors are there all surrounding the pool and they are singing a song as you walk into this golden pool now this is not water what you are stepping into is pure bliss pure unadulterated bliss and in the center of your whole team around you you see hathor and hathor comes into the water and she is with you as you begin to float in this water as you continue breathing you are soaking this bliss into every cell of your body you are sending this bliss through all of your past lives helping to heal and bringing this purity to all of the past lives, to all of your ancestors, and you're able to send it into the future as well. But for us today, I want you to see a problem, see something that you're worried about, something that irks you just that little bit in the pool with you and see it begin to melt into this bliss. You are now integrating what was once a problem to you and in your open heart and in all this bliss you are now open to alternative ways to deal with this and the one that comes to you is right for you so spend a few moments allowing every one of your worries to come up while you are floating in this pool with Hathor at your head and see each of them melt away dissolving integrating healing expanding and showing you the answers as you move forward this is raising your vibration so high and giving you new perspectives that you are ready to bring forward and that indeed the whole earth is ready to receive these energies that you are anchoring in today breathe into this and now Hathor assists you as you get up and out of the water now and you thank her and you thank each of the ancestors, each of your team of angels that have come through, your guides, your higher self, feel the love of all this team. And as the team parts, you get to see this beautiful, golden Christed dragon who brings in the Christ love in its highest purest form and it usually steps down through Sirius before us so since we are on Sirius we are getting as much of a dose as you can take compared to the joy you allow yourself to feel in your heart that bliss is what is opening you to more and more of that Christed energy so allow yourself to fill up with the energy this dragon is bringing to you and feel what this feels like and memorize it and use it whenever you need. Now, I want you to slip onto his back. I want you to reach around his neck and feel his heart beating. Feel his big, massive heart beating of love surrounding you with this love and safety, filling you up so that your heart is beating in the same big way and allow this to saturate you and to saturate every cell. And we are going to begin to descend the shaft back to our earth and to our bodies, riding on this beautiful dragon, so gracefully spreading his wings and flying through the cosmos. And as we near earth, I want you to notice something. Look around the earth and see the throngs and myriads of angels and guides, our higher selves, see the light that is around the earth that is there for each of us 
to anchor in. They are waiting and they are ready, but we need to invite them into our lives and see them there. See that this is a big and beautiful picture that we are a part of in our small way and in our grand way together. This is what we are a part of and this is why we came to the earth to bring in this peace and now is our time. So see the support that each of you has, feel it, know it, stand proud and be a part of what you wanted to be when you came into this planet. You have permission to be the best you you can be at this special time. And so the dragon keeps descending down and down and bringing you back to the original spot safely by the tree by the little pond where you sit on the water, not on the water, you sit on the rock in front of the water. But I want you to at this time, receive another message from this dragon before he leaves. This is a message private to you. So listen to what you are being given and what is being activated within you at this time. Feel your third eye opening. Feel your crown wide open, feel your throat open and your heart open and all your chakras are open and filled with this Christ light and you can't help but to emanate it all around you. Show gratitude for this because this is the most exciting time my friends. All of us together are here to support each other and to do this. So we thank the dragon. We thank all of our guides, our teams, our angels, the beautiful ascended masters who take us to classes at night. And when you're ready, take one more deep breath. And release this meditation and open your eyes. I want you to memorize that feeling of bliss because through bliss comes the compassion that we can share with ourselves first and then the world around us to bring peace. We bring it here first and we radiate it through and through and then we release it outwards. And so I thank you all for your parts and I'm honored to be here on the planet with you. And I send this now over to Jessica. Oh, Teresa, thank you so much. Um, both of your parts, Laura and Teresa, what a treat this morning um, oh, to just be in this space. And um, I had shared with Teresa before coming on today that, you know, last night as I was sleeping, I was a little restless and, and as the night went on. But when I went out this morning, there was a beautiful sense of peace and and you know, I, I always can't help but think that that's, it's because that's where it starts is within us and, and where we go, we can bring that peace. And so um, I invite you wherever you are now, if you're driving or, you know, in the middle of the grocery store, please don't close your eyes, <laughs> just, and, and continue to listen or come back to us later. Um, but I'm going to invite you now wherever you are, if you're in a space where you have the ability to do it, to get comfortable where you're sitting. And I want you to begin taking some deep breaths. You don't have to close your eyes just yet, but begin taking some deep breaths at your own pace. Breathing in through the nose and exhale. And when you're ready, you can close your eyes. Continuing to take those deep breaths at your own pace.
And I want you to call to mind anything that may be causing you stress right now or disturbing your peace in any kind of way. Don't dwell on those stressful things or give them too much significance. Just acknowledge that they're there. Now I want you to think of a color for that, for that stress, that anxiety. First color that comes to mind, don't overthink it, just go with the color you see. And picture that color in your body as you continue taking deep breaths. Notice where the stress is in your body. Where is that color? Where are you hurting or feeling more, more tense? And now as you see the color pictured in those areas, I want you to picture a white light outside of your body. And that white light represents the opposite of what you're feeling. That white light is grounding, presence, love, healing, wellness. That white light is peace. You are surrounded by it now. And as you continue taking deep breaths at your own pace, I want you to picture breathing in that white light through your nose. And then on each exhale, picture your stress, the color of stress that you saw leaving your body. Breathe in the peaceful white light breathing out the tense stress. Breathing in peace. Breathing out stress. Breathe in peace. Breathe out stress. Now I want you to place your hands on your abdomen as you continue to breathe in that peace and breathe out stress. And begin to move your focus from the colors of the breathing to the sound of your breath, the feeling of your breath, the motion of your hands moving up and down as you breathe. You may find that your mind begins to wander. Know that this is normal, it's okay. Let go of the need for perfection by just acknowledging those thoughts that come to your mind and let them go. Then focus again on your breathing. How amazing, wonderful, peaceful and grounding it feels to be in this moment and energizing your body with each breath. Continue taking deep breaths at your own pace as you embrace this quiet, peaceful, calm feeling. And as you continue your breathing, we are going to move into loving kindness. Think for a moment of yourself. As you picture yourself in your mind, direct your energy inwards 
as you say these phrases out loud. May I be happy. May I be healthy. May I be peaceful. May I be well. And take a deep breath in through your nose and exhale. Allow yourself to bring someone into your mind now that you are thankful for having in your life. Perhaps a close family member or friend. As you picture them in your mind, direct your energy toward that person as you say these phrases out loud. May you be happy. May you be healthy. May you be peaceful. May you be well. And take a deep breath in through your nose and exhale. I invite you now to bring someone into your mind that is an acquaintance, someone that you hold no real feelings for, Maybe it's a bank teller, a cashier at your local grocery store. Bring a specific person into your mind that you've seen before. And as you picture them in your mind, direct your energy toward that person as you say these phrases out loud. May you be happy. May you be healthy.
May you be peaceful. May you be well. And take a deep breath in through your nose. And exhale. Bring someone into your mind now that is a difficult person in your life. Perhaps it's an enemy, maybe just someone you've had trouble with in the past. Anyone that's been a cause of stress for you before. And as you picture this person in your mind, direct your energy toward that person as you say these phrases out loud. May you be happy. May you be healthy. May you be peaceful. May you be well. Take a deep breath in through your nose and exhale. Now bring the whole world into focus in your mind. Whatever that looks like for you, it could be the, the picture of a globe or a map or just a large group of people, whatever you need to use to envision the whole world in your mind. And as you picture the world in your mind, direct your energy toward everyone everywhere as you say these phrases out loud. May all beings everywhere be happy. May all beings everywhere be healthy. May all beings everywhere be peaceful. May all beings everywhere be well.
and take a deep breath in through your nose and exhale. And as we conclude our time together today, know that you can revisit this safe space of peace, joy, and love at any time, anywhere, just by closing your eyes in that moment and making the choice to be present. Please take a moment of gratitude for this collective energy that we've experienced together today. Take one more deep breath with me in through your nose and sigh as you breathe out your mouth. <sighs> and when you're ready, you can open your eyes and I will pass this back to Laura to finish us up. Hmm. Thank you so much. And I'm so glad that this live has a time limit because the number of downloads that have come through with both of your experiences are off the charts. So I'm just going to ask you to close your eyes one more time. We're going to prepare to close the Akashic Records. I want you to take a really deep breath in and pause at the top. And I want you to have a very audible exhale. <sighs> Signaling to the subconscious mind that you are letting go. Just feeling into any remaining energetic remnants that you'd like to release and placing them at the feet of your guides, angels, loved ones, ascended masters, offering it to them as a gift for transformation, for use elsewhere on this planet or in the universe. And we offer appreciation and gratitude to all of our guides for the love, support, and guidance we rece we've received in this space today. Acknowledging and feeling into the frequency of oneness, knowing that all the shifts made within us today extend beyond us. And it's with this final ohm that we will close the Akashic Records. Oh. The records are now closed. You can take a moment to come back, allowing yourself to ground in the space in which you're sitting, feeling the chair beneath you, feeling your feet on the earth, stretching your neck, stretching your shoulders, wiggling your fingers and your toes, just awakening the body again, reminding yourself of your intention for being here and the intention you'd like to set for going forward today. Thank you so much for joining us. Uh, what a pleasure. What a pleasure this was um, on a personal note for me being with you ladies um, here today. Such a wonderful experience. I, you know, you you get these intuitive nudges sometimes that something needs to happen, and and uh, you don't know why in the moment, but you you just go with it. And this is the beauty that that transpires because of it. So, I'm always thankful to be surrounded by people such as yourselves who listen to that little nudge and and uh, and follow through. So thank you both for being here with me today. Um, to find out any information 
about any of us here, you can go to Jessica Dugas Intuitive Mentor, you can go to Emerge Healing and Wellness, and you can go to Claim Your Akashic Inheritance for Teresa as well. Um, so I want to take a moment again of gratitude to thank all of you who took the time to be here today, whether on live or on the replay. We have, we, we will, you know, we're very immersed in this experience today, but we will definitely go back and and, and look at and all each and every one of you who have taken the time to be here today and shown up for yourself because that is what's the most important to do thing, these things for you and to we know that in order to have peace in the world we need to start with ourselves and and this is how you can do it by starting with yourself and surrounding yourself with other people who are doing the same thing so thank you all for being here today for this opportunity for a peace event so much gratitude for you be peaceful be well and we'll see you next time